Hey guys, welcome back, and today I'm really excited because we're gonna quickly unbox and review this iPhone 12 Pro 256GB Storage Gold Edition. And first thing, look how skinny this box is, like seriously. Alright, let's unbox this thing. So first I see like this gold edition, the gold uh, box is really nice instead of the simple standard white one. And then of course the iPhone is gold itself, and I also like this Apple logo, which is gold too. All right, so let's reveal this. And just quickly, I'm gonna give the two shoutouts. The notification shoutout goes to Far Cry 5 Attackers Games. Thank you so much for being first in the last video, and shout out to you. And the everyday fan shoutout goes to the world of cars. I see you every day on my channel. I appreciate it, and shout out to you. And there it is, guys. It looks so good. And guys, look at the border. Like, the side of the phone is fully gold. On the back, there's this kind of, like, matte color. And on the front, there's this, like, paper, which we're gonna remove in a second, like this. Wow, satisfying, guys. And other than that, there's not much in here. There's, like, Apple stickers in here, like this. You see, there's Apple stickers and probably instructions. And then there's the charger, but there's actually no charging brick. And even though this is a new design, it still resembles, you see like the flat edges, it still resembles the iPhone 5 or iPhone 5S. And guys, it actually looks really nice. And obviously same with iPhone 11 Pro, there's three cameras right here. Although these cameras are a little bit better than last year. And another awesome feature that iPhone 11 Pro doesn't have is the LiDAR scanner. And the cool thing with LiDAR scanner is it basically creates like a 3D map. So even in like a very dark area, it could focus like up to six times faster. That's because the phone doesn't actually need to physically see anything in the dark. And that's going to be awesome for any AR games or AR apps and stuff like that. And the notch is still on top of the screen, it appears smaller, and that's because this year's screen is bigger than last year. It's a small change, but it makes a little difference. And then of course you have the audio mute switch on the side, the volume up and down buttons, and then you have the power off and on button right here. And then of course the typical ports. Nothing fancy here. Except for the design, it's nice. And then of course there's stuff that you can see on the outside. Faster chip, more RAM, I think like 6 gigabytes of RAM this year and better cameras. And for those of you who like to create videos to the next level, so first time ever on mo any mobile device, you can create raw footage. And additionally, it can record an Atmos Dolby Vision, which is insane. And that's the same standard that a lot of Netflix movies are recorded in. So this is actually a huge update. And one more cool thing on the back, there's actually like a magnetic circle. So if you're wirelessly charging, it'll be easier to put it on the magnetic pad because it will kind of auto attach itself. And also, one more thing, this phone has built-in 5G. Even though it's not fully developed, but once it's out, then it can do 5G. So your internet is gonna be faster and everything will run more smoothly. At least in the near future. Now I'm gonna jump to the exciting stuff. How fast it works, how fast the apps load up, and generally how fluent it is. And make sure to subscribe because there's gonna be many different videos like this coming soon. Like for example, I'm gonna post a video comparing iPhone 12 Pro, iPhone 11 Pro, and even iPhone 7. So stay tuned for those. Now let's open some like famous apps, like for example Facebook. Wow, that opened so quick. Now let's try YouTube. That was actually not that fast. Now let's open iMovie, for example. Wow, fast too. Now let's open a game like, for example, Among Us. This actually took some time, to be honest. Now I'm going to try to install a game on it, and let's see how fast it works. Keep in mind, I already have fast Wi-Fi, so let's see. Let's click Asphalt 9, and this game is huge to download. <laughs> Obviously, this is gonna take some time. And it actually took over a minute, which is not that bad. Now I'm gonna open it. So yeah, this game even took a while to open. And guys, I know you cannot see it, but it actually looks amazing. I know I'm obviously recording on another iPhone, so it's not gonna do the justice. Now guys, we're gonna see how fluent it is. Pretty good. Now when you're scrolling through the pages, wow, it loads so fast. Guys, it's really responsive, to be honest. And on the side note, the text looks really sharp, which is normal, I guess. Now let's test the sound. I'm going to use my own video for that. 
Hey guys, today we're doing iPhone 12 Pro case review. And we have OtterBox Casimetry case with pop-up button. So yeah, this phone is actually pretty loud. Okay, now I'm gonna do the network test. And keep in mind, I have Verizon Fios 1 gigabyte a second Wi-Fi. And I'm very close to the actual box, like 7 to 8 feet away. Wow, guys, that's a lot of speed. 350 megabytes a second download and almost 500 megabytes a second upload. That's pretty quick. And obviously, audio and video quality is important too. I'm recording on the iPhone 12 Pro right now, and I'm approximately two feet away. And this is how my audio sounds. We've slightly boosted audio in the software. And here's how it sounds without any boost, just straight from the phone. Now I'm going around this llama, and look how crispy it looks. Nice, right? So as you can see, the audio and video quality is pretty good too. And obviously, you have regular camera, like right now. Then you can record on ultra-wide from the same distance like this, or zoomed in. Or you can adjust it gradually. And here's a couple of photos as well. So you see, the camera does really good. So here's my opinion. If you are upgrading it from like last year's iPhone, iPhone 11 Pro to iPhone 12 Pro, I don't think it's that worth it. It's not too much of like a big difference. Sure, it's going to be a difference, but buying a phone that's $1,000, you have to think about it. But if you're upgrading from like 10 to or like 8 or 7, then that's going to be a huge difference. Definitely worth every penny then. And also if you're upgrading it from like older versions, let's say of Android or Samsung, and keep in mind that's going to be great, but they don't want to be left out. So they're actually making newer versions of their phones right now too. So that is tough to choose. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video and also check this video where I compare the iPhones. But if it's not there yet, check this video. This is where I surprised my mom with the iPhone. New videos are coming soon. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.